Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to another episode of AB in the Films. Now, uh, I just got back from the theaters uh, from seeing the film The Sitter. And uh, this is what I would... Now, here's the deal. A lot of my friends have been wanting to see this for quite some time, okay? Uh, here's what I would basically... like. This is basically the movie in a nutshell. If you were to take the film Misadventures in Babysitting, combine it with the second act of Pineapple Express, mix it with an R-rated version, and have Jonah Hill doing super bad shtick, that's... You, like, you have the sitter. That's what it basically is. Um... I've actually been looking forward to seeing this movie for about two months, actually. Um, one reason that uh, it has interested me is, uh, well, first of all, the trailer just looks hilarious, but that's basically what everybody falls for. The trailer looks good, but then the movie is kind of a letdown at, in the end. Uh, for me, it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't really what I was expecting, um, although I did know about the whole Misadventures in Babysitting rehashed plot, actually, because the trailer basically sums that up. Um, but, uh, and of course, Pineapple Express, it's from the same director, um, I don't know the guy's name, and I should know his name, um, I think it's David Gordon Green or something like that, Seth Gordon Green, I don't know what it is, it's something like that. Uh, but, uh, here's something else, um, this is Jonah Hill, I don't know if this means anything to anybody, but, uh, it does to me, this is Jonah Hill's final film, um, I don't want to say fat, because that's too harsh, but, uh, you know, the way he's been looking over the last few years. Because when you see him on screen, you obvi you instantly think of Superbad. So, like, this is the this is his final film, because he lost uh, so much weight. I'm still shocked how he did it, because even I, I... I can't even do that. I mean, it's taken me a long time. I, I can never do that. But, uh, anyway, about The Sitter. Uh, you know, it, it's not a movie you should rush out to see. Like, um... I would say if it like 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 when it comes out on DVD or Blu-ray or whatever, if if it's on or if it's even even if it's on TV, I'd say give it a shot. But I I wouldn't really watch it again. I mean, I'd, I'd watch it for the jokes. It, it has some laughs in it, but I don't want to say it's god awful because it really isn't. But it was a, it was kind of a letdown. Um. But there is one, there is another good thing I did like about this movie, and I'm so glad it didn't happen, because I was afraid that's what was going to happen here. Um, they actually, now this is obvious, because in the trailer we see that, uh, the, I don't want to give anything away to those of you who want to see it. I don't want to stop you from seeing this movie. Um, it's not really worth seeing, but you know, it's good for like a few laughs here and there. Um, I, I was, like, this is obvious. Jonah Hill comes in, of course the kids don't like him, he doesn't like the kids, but in the end, they like each other. That's obvious, right? It's, um, it's predictable. But what I liked about it is they actually have scenes together when he's with the kids one-on-one, -on -one, and I really do enjoy the scenes. Like, there are some very, like, it's very, it's very deep scenes, to be honest with you, and, and, um, it brings out the characters in them. It, it's not, uh, stereotypical kids as it looks in the trailer. Um, I, I, but anyway, I did like those scenes. Those scenes were pretty interesting. The scene he has with, um, one of the kids, I think, I think it's one of the boys or something, by the bridge or something, when he loses his medication or something like that. Uh, he has a good scene with the daughter and all that stuff, you know, who, who they really want to be and something like that. Okay, but th those were good. But other than that, it's basically them going to one place after the other, trying to get money to pay for the drugs because these drug dealers are catching them. See, again, Pineapple Express rehash, you know. Uh, so basically, I would say... Don't rush to the theater to go see The Sitter. I mean, like, if you want to watch a good movie, watch Misadventures in Babysitting. That was good. But uh, if you're looking for a Jonah Hill comedy, like, like watch Superbad. <laughs> I'd say watch Superbad because that's that will be the movie he'll he'll be famous for for the rest of his life. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, I don't think you can top Superbad. <laughs> um, or get him to the Greek. I like to get him to the Greek. I don't know if anybody else does, but I never ran into one person who said they didn't like Superbad. So. Yeah, that's basically my review of The Sitter. Um, next time, I'm going to give you guys my uh, top 15 favorite films of all time. So uh, keep watching for that. Hope you guys are doing awesome. See you later.